Hey everyone, Josh here from Accelerate and today I'm going to show you through this brand new 2022 Ram 2500. We've done a full 200 amp lithium dual battery system in it, a full towing setup, safety dive camera system and a UHF as well for communication. All right, so this Ram was lucky enough to have some nice big Ram boxes on the side integrated into the tub. So under here on the passenger side is essentially where we fitted our dual battery system. So under here, we've pretty much got the 200 amp lithium Invicta battery that boasts a seven year warranty and full Bluetooth monitoring. We've also got in here a Red Arc 2000 watt inverter for 240 volt power um, off grid and, of, and obviously a Red Arc BCDC 1250, so a 50 amp DC charger to keep it all nice and charged while we're driving along. There is also a SeaTech 240 volt charger in here as this thing gets put in storage when it's not in use, um, so to keep everything nice and topped up while it's locked away. Down here as well, we've also got the GME 2.1 DBI antenna mounted on the back of the tray here, which pretty much connects up to the unit we fitted inside the car. So down the back here, we've pretty much just got a standard socket configuration, all nicely flush mounted in the back of this tub. Again, there's heaps of room behind the RAM box that gives us the opportunity to have such a sleek finish. So here we've pretty much just got a standard socket array of some USB sockets, um, some cigarette lighter sockets to keep, you know, phones, basic little small 12 volt appliances, lights powered up. So also in the back of this tub, we have pretty much we fitted two Anderson plugs a grey 50 amp Anderson plugs for those higher output loads and to run fridges, things like that. And then the red Anderson plug underneath is a dedicated solar input via the Red Arc charger. So essentially we can plug in a portable solar panel into the red one and the Red Arc charger will manage that charge to ensure our battery stays tip top. So on the rear here, we've just carried out a pretty standard towing setup for this gentleman's caravan. Um, essentially, we've got the red Anderson plug for ESC, so stability control power. We've got an isolated gray Anderson plug for caravan battery charge. We've got a 12 pin socket wired as per his caravan's configuration for running the three way fridge in the caravan. And then we've got a WASA connection here, which takes care of his camera system on the caravan as well. That we've touched on the camera system down here, we'll follow it through to the front and we'll show you what we've done in there. All right, so in the cab up here, essentially we've got the 5.8 inch Safety Dave suction cup mount monitor um, for his camera viewing. So when the caravan's connected, plugs in, gives you a nice clear picture of what's going on um, behind the van. The benefit of using the suction cup mirror is when you're not towing, um, essentially we can just unplug it and put it in the glove box out of the way so it's not obstructing your view for day-to-day -day driving. Also in here, we have the GME XRS 370, which we've just tucked the handpiece in the glove box here, so it's nice and out of the way and accessible when he wants to use it. He didn't want to have it a full time in, in his face, screwed into his dash, so tucking it away in the glove box is a really neat option um, for that cleaner factory look inside. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this run through of this 2500 Ram. Um, it was a really good clean system install. Um, thank you all for watching. Obviously, if you have any comments, questions, please drop them below in the um, comments. Feel free to like and subscribe. Um, if you want to watch more dual battery content, you can click on the link up here. And YouTube thinks you should really watch this video down here as well. Thanks, guys. See you next time.